So check that setting. We should now be recording. OK, so let's go ahead and uh, start with the material. And then uh, we'll, we'll separate into groups for the group project. So the last bit of the material that we have left is uh, section 3C, which is on dealing with uncertainty. And I apologize, my program is a little bit slower. Sometimes I have to wait for the computer to catch up. So the author titles this, uh, the author is titled this section, Dealing with Uncertainty. And here we're going to be looking at uh, two things that are that are related to what we saw in the previous section, which is absolute error and relative error. So let's first we'll define what those are, look at the equations for those, and then an example. So we have absolute and relative error. And again, I apologize, it's a little bit slow. I have to wait for my computer to catch up. Absolute and relative error. OK. Uh, maybe if we use the text tool, that will be a little bit faster. Let's maybe let's do that. OK, so the absolute error describes how far a measured or claimed value is from the true value. So here, when we are, uh, when we're discussing error, we are looking at uh, measuring some quantity or at least guessing on some quantity. Uh, so like the distance from here to some object would be, let's say, five feet, or that would be the claimed the claimed value. Or if we were to measure it, that would be the measured value. And so with our absolute error, we're looking at what is the actual difference Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for <laughs> that. I, I might have to ask you again. Um, when we split into groups, but that will that will help. Um, so the absolute error, the equation is equal to the measured value minus the true value. So that is the equation we're going to use. Again, the absolute error can be positive or negative. Oh, I'm not sure what it's doing there. Uh, can be positive or negative. Um, if the absolute error is positive, then that means that the measured value is above what we have, uh, what the true value is. Or if it's negative, then it is below what the actual value is. And then relative error, you probably can guess what that is. I hope I've uh, emphasize what relative means when we're in this section. Relative is going to be a percent. So the relative error compares the size of the absolute error to the true value and is a percent. So that is what we mean by relative error. So we have relative error, we have absolute error. The equation for relative error let's go ahead and write that really quickly, is equal to the measured value minus the true value. And we want this uh, measured with respect to the true value, so divided by the true value. And it is a percent, so that times 100 to get it into percent form. OK, so let's look at a couple of examples for this. 
So one example that we could see is that your true weight is 125 pounds, but a scale says your weight is 130 pounds. Let's uh, find the uh, absolute and relative error of this measurement. Okay. So for this one, well, before we get into the actual uh, figuring out what these, uh, what, what the absolute error and relative error are, I just want to emphasize you probably recognize these two equations, or, or at least they should look relatively familiar, the absolute error and the relative error. And that's because they're actually in the same form as the other uh, pair of equations we had in the last section with absolute and relative difference and uh, absolute and relative change. Uh, it's just here, it's with respect to something else, in this case, a measurement instead of uh, a change in a value or comparing two values, but the uh, format, the form of the equation is the same. So um, moving on with that, uh, when we're doing these problems, then it's going to be very similar to when we are doing the problems uh, in the previous section that have these equations. We have to identify first, what is the measured value and what is the true value? And here, this, this is going to be a lot more direct than it was when we were looking at um, uh, the comparing of, of two values. Because here, you can probably already tell me what is the, uh, what is the true value here or the true weight. And again, you can either type that in chat or uh, say over audio, whatever you're more comfortable with. 125 pounds? 125 professor. is exactly correct. And I'm seeing that in chat too, very good. Uh, so here, and there's that keyword true weight there and here your scale says this, so that's going to be your measured weight. Um, so to answer that question that's in chat, why distinguish between, and I, I'm having to read it because it's not going to appear in the video, uh, why distinguish between error and difference? Um, the difference, when we're talking about difference, at least in, in this course, we're talking about a change in a value. So we're, we're saying that uh, the true weight changed from 125 pounds to say 120 pounds in the next week. Whereas when we are talking about error, we are talking about um, what is the error in a measurement. So here, our weight is actually 130 pounds, but it was weighed, uh, sorry, where our weight is actually 125 pounds, but it was weighed as 130 pounds. So um, it, it is, a, it's, like I said, it is the same format, it is the same setup, uh, but we're just, um, to keep the to keep the two concepts different, uh, we're thinking of difference as a change in a value, and error as uh, what is the the difference between the actual value and the measured value. So that is that is the the uh, distinguishment there. Yeah, and and like I said, it, it when you when you look at the equations, they're practically the same. Uh, it's just a different context of using it, and that's how the how that's how this these authors um, refer to those as. Uh, but yeah, so so, <laughs> uh, good question. Um, and if you do have any questions, you can uh, go ahead and and let me know, um, and I will address those as I see them, or as I hear them. Uh, so here we have 125 pounds as our true weight. Uh, yes, I will. Up, I will upload these uh, notes as well as the notes from Monday. I have just uh, been able to scan those today. Um, yesterday, I <laughs> maybe this isn't important. Uh, yesterday, I got the second dose of the vaccine, and I was waiting in line for a lot longer than I expected to be. So I didn't get a lot done in terms of classes, but. Um, I was able to get those scanned today, so those will be uh, uploaded when, when I get a chance. Um, so I apologize for that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and finish this out then. So the absolute error 
is equal to uh, 130, we take the measured value minus the true value, 125. And these are both in pounds. Maybe we should put the, uh, the units in. Uh, when you're doing the exam, you don't necessarily have to include the units, but I want to emphasize that since we just had a section on units. And so in this case, we have a positive five pounds. So the absolute error is positive five pounds. That means that the measured value is five pounds above what our weight actually is. Uh, let's next go to the relative error. So the relative error for this example, we take the uh, measured value, which is 130, minus the true value, which is 125. And maybe, again, let's, let's put in the units. Uh, when you're doing this on your own, you don't have to include the units. And you won't lose points on the exam for not having the units, but I do want to, again, emphasize that. And then uh, times 100 here. So what we will get is five pounds divided by 125 pounds and times 100 to get us into percent form. Notice that the units uh, pounds will cancel. And now we use our calculator, our scientific calculator. Um, as soon as my computer catches up. And so you can just follow along with yours if you have it. Five divided by 125 and then times 100 to get us into percent form is 4%. And again, that's a positive 4%. So the uh, relative error is 4%. The uh, scale is is having our weight as 4% more than it actually is. So that is the relative error here. Okay. Let's do look at, oh, sorry, yes, go ahead. Do we need to add the positive? Um, if we know it's positive, do we have to add the plus or can we just say yeah? Like uh, no, that's a, good, that's a good question. You don't have to include the positive. Um, I, I put that in because, again, I just want to emphasize that it can be positive or negative. But uh, um, if you leave that off, again, you won't lose any points for it. That's, that's perfectly fine. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, OK, let's look at maybe one more example, one more quick example here. Oops. So another example of this would be uh, your bike speedometer reads 22, 22 miles per hour, but your true speed is 24 miles per hour. And again, let's find the uh, absolute and relative error for this measurement. Okay, so uh, let's start with absolute error since that's what was mentioned first since that was the uh, first equation that we were given. So the absolute error, uh -huh, and I, I apologize, I don't know why my uh, computer's being so slow today. Uh, absolute error is equal to, we take the, well, notice here, this is the measured value. And here, this is the true value. Um, it might not say true speed, it might say your actual speed or something similar to that, but it should be relatively clear from the context of the problem, which one is the true value and which one is the, is the measurement, is the measured value. So the, the absolute error is the measured value minus the true value. So in this case, uh, that is 22 miles per hour minus 24 miles per hour. And so what we get is a negative two miles per hour. So that is the absolute error. So again, we have a negative two miles per hour and uh, the negative indicates that the measured value is reading less than what the actual value is. In this case, the speed. So here our measured speed is actually less than what our, our actual or true speed is. And then the relative error we have the measured value minus the true value divided by the true value 
and then times 100 to get us into percent form. Uh, but notice the, the numerator here, the measured minus the true value is the absolute error. So I'm going to skip some steps and say that's negative two divided by the true value is 24. And then times 100. And so again, we plug that into our calculator, negative two divided by 24 times 100. And that's round to two decimal places is negative 8.33%. So the relative error is negative 8.33% or uh, what we have measured as our speed is 8% less than what our actual speed is. All right, so any questions on that? I'm not hearing anything. I, I, again, I do know there's a little bit of a delay between when I say something and, and uh, when you might type something in the chat. So I'll keep my eye there in case there is a question, but let's move on. Uh, the very last concept we have here is comparing two measurements. And uh, when we compare two measurements, or even when we are looking at a specific measurement, uh, there are two terms that we're going to define, accuracy and precision. So let's first define those. And then we'll look at an example how to uh, compare a couple of measurements. So accuracy describes how closely a measurement approximates a true value. And so we say an accurate measurement has a small relative error. And that is, it is closer to the true value. So the uh, so accuracy describes how close a measurement is to the actual value. Uh, the closer we get to the to the true value, then the more accurate the measurement. So an accurate measurement will be really close to the true value, and um, the way that we again uh, measure. How, how close a measurement is to the true value is by looking at relative error. So that means we'll have a smaller relative error. So that is accuracy. Uh, the next is precision. And precision describes the amount of detail in a measurement. Um, and uh, what we mean here is a more detailed measurement will have smaller possible units. Or a more, uh, we should say, precise measurement. Let me fix that, a more precise. So precision, we're talking about uh, the the precision of the tool that we are using to measure things with. Let's say we are uh, measuring distance. And let's say that we have a yardstick, but uh, so we have a yardstick, we know it's a yard, but the um, all of the, uh, what is it called? All of the markings have been, have been erased from it. So we just have the stick, doesn't have any measurements on it. We just know it's a, a, a yard long. So if we're measuring distance, we can measure probably close to the, the, uh, the closest yard, or, or if we're careful, maybe even yard, a half a yard. So uh, our precision on that would be 0.5 yards. Whereas if we have the actual uh, yardstick with all of the measurements on it, we could, um, we could measure up to the closest inch. Uh, and so that would be uh, more detailed since we can get a more accurate, uh, a more precise measurement. So the difference here, accuracy is how close the measurement is to the actual true value. And precision is the detail in the measurement. Uh, we want uh, smaller, uh, smaller possible units mean we have a more precise measurement. So let's look at um, how we use these two in comparing two measurements. So here's an example. 
uh, your weight is 52.55 kilograms. A scale at the health clinic gives your weight, uh, sorry, at the health clinic that gives measurements to the nearest half kilogram, so that is uh, 0 0.5 kilogram, gives your weight as 52.5 kilograms, or 52 and a half. And a digital scale at the gym gives readings to, or measurements, to the nearest hundredth, uh, that is uh, 0 0.01 kilogram, and gives your weight as 51.48 kilograms. And so what we could ask here is which measurement is more accurate and which measurement is more precise. Okay. So this would be an example of where we are using these, these two terms, uh, precision versus accuracy. And so again, just to emphasize accuracy is how closely a measurement approximates the true value and precision is the amount of detail in the measurement. So looking at these two scales or these two measurements, then uh, which, which one is more accurate? And so here we're asking which one is closer to the actual weight? Digital scale, maybe. Well, let's, let's find out. If we look at the health clinic one, let's, let's do both of these. Let's find the relative error. The health clinic, the relative error in the measurement is 52.5 minus 52.55 divided by the true value is 52.55 and then times 100 to get us into our percent form. Uh, for the sake of time, I'll give you what the solution there is going to be. This is going to be negative 0.095% is our relative error. Uh, and for the gym, the relative error, again, we take the measured value. So that's 51.48 minus the true value is 52.55 divided by 52.55 uh, times 100 to get us into percent form. And again, for the sake of time, I'll give you what that ends up being. That's going to be negative 2.04%. Okay, so looking at these, again, we're asking which one of these measurements is uh, small is closest to the true value. So which relative error is the smallest? Health clinic. Health clinic. So here the health clinic is more accurate. Now this may might be um, obvious when you look at the measurements here we have 52.5 and you could say, well, that's 0 0.05 kilograms away, and this is 51.48, which is almost a whole kilogram away. Um, but if you are unsure, then you find the relative error. And whichever relative error is the smallest, that is the one that is more accurate. Uh, which one is more precise? Which one of these scales has the uh, more detail in the measurement? Scale from the gym? The scale from the gym. Because this gives our measurement to the closest hundredth kilogram. So this is more precise. Uh, as a quick note, uh, the precision, uh, the accuracy and precision do not have to be, what is more accurate and what is more precise, do not have to be different 
uh, measurements. They could be the same or they could be different. It's just depending on, uh, again, those, those are two separate things. Accuracy is how close you are to the true value. So the smaller relative error, the more uh, accurate it is. And precision is the detail in the measurement. So the smaller uh, units that you can get out of the measurement, the more detailed, the more precise that measurement. Um, and in this case, they end up being different, different uh, measures. OK, uh, that is section 3C. So again, pretty small. Uh, we have our relative and absolute error first, which was uh, just looking at um, how, how close uh, or far away the error is in a measurement, and then accuracy and precision comparing two measurements. All right, so I'm going to stop the screen share, and I'm going to stop the recording since that's the end of the lecture. Um, before I stop the recording, now we have finished chapter three. So the uh, mini project three will be due this weekend, now that we've finished that material. Okay, now I'm gonna stop the recording.